Welcome to the Lake Flood Rescue Boat Technician Recertification Course. I'm Bob Haggard, Captain of the Granbury Volunteer Fire Department Special Operations Team. This training is for recertification of members previously certified through Rescue Training International. The didactic portion of the recertification training includes four video modules, quizzes, and a class completion test. This class is presented through our GVFD training website. In addition to the training modules, a practical on the lake exercise will reinforce and verify rescue and operational skills. The practical exercise portion will provide elements of boat operations from hookup, deployment, size up, rescue, and boat recovery. Successful completion of both the lecture and practical exercises is required to be recertified as a Lake Flood Rescue Boat Technician for GVFD. The agenda for this course touches on many facets of boat operations before, during, and after a water rescue mission. To be successful, all members of the rescue effort must understand the conditions, personnel on scene, and the equipment available. It's imperative that the team work together efficiently and effectively, and this is only accomplished through training. The agenda items listed are both knowledge-based, this class lecture, and skills-based, the practical lake exercise for boat operations and surface water rescues. Safety isn't an action but the result of a continual process of risk assessment and risk management. Safety, risk assessment, risk management is a continual process from tone out to being ready for the next call. Situational awareness is the key factor in risk assessment and risk management to ensure a safe operation. Mitigation of risk establishes a safe working environment, but a safe working environment does not mean it's not dangerous. Risk mitigation is accomplished by identifying risks, developing strategies to reduce those risks, and by getting the proper training, using the proper tools, and having the proper people. Risk a lot to save a lot, risk a little to save little. Now we're gonna talk about some terminology around hydrology. Hydrology being the study and understanding of water and flowing water. Uh, leeward, downwind. Windward, the opposite, upwind. Whitecaps, wind generating waves. And we see that on the lake. Uh, and depending on the strength of that wind, of how big the waves can be. Upstream V, there's a fixed object and water's flowing around that. And you can see that V pointing up. You want to avoid those. Downstream V, you have two fixed objects. And the water is moving around and going between them. And you see that downstream V. And that's usually the direction you want to go laminar flow in moving water, swift water, the density of particles and materials that are in that water will stratify uh, top, middle, and bottom. Confluence is two bodies of water joining together. Bifurcation is one body of water splitting in two, like an island in a river that goes on either side. Eddy and eddy fence are important concepts of, of swift water for sure, but could even be in flood water. Um, a fixed object, water moving around it, increases in speed, that Venturi effect, and moves by quicker. And as the slow water from behind in the eddy mixes, you can get some whirlpools and things like that, but it's much it's flowing much faster there but the eddy you're protected. So we've all seen that. We'll see a uh, video later that uh, you'll see some of those examples. Let's continue on the uh, terminology 
of uh, hydrology, if you will, horizon line. Now this can be an important one because as you're tra traversing, usually in a swift water environment, but you look downstream, down river, and you see a horizon line, looks like it's straight across, can be very indicative of a waterfall or a significant drop in the elevation of the water. Uh, you should always get out and investigate that and make sure that it's not uh, something that can be uh, dangerous to the point that uh, maybe a, a big hydraulic, which is our next one. Hydraulics are, are where that water is rushing down uh, from a higher elevation to a lower elevation, like a low water dam, water crossing, those kinds of things. And it can actually, it reverses that water flow into that uh, dam or whatever. And it can pull you in, it can be strong enough you can't get out. So yeah, really want to understand that hydraulic and uh, that horizon line. Um, another very dangerous situation is a strainer. And this is any object that allows water to th flow through it or around it, but could stop a person or a boat. Uh, I think of a chain link fence, uh, a grate, uh, you know, a metal grate or a, a gate or things like that, that water can flow through and around that, but trap you against it or your boat. Uh, this is a very dangerous, uh, da dangerous thing to remember. Uh, talking about waves, just briefly, a trough is between the peaks of the waves. A rounded wave, something submerged, and you can kind of uh, see that where it just kind of rounds up over it. Peaking, uh, where some, a submerged object, fairly shallow, but it's really pushing the, the water up and it peaks over the, over the top of it. Cresting, uh, more powerful, a lot more uh, kind of like peaks, but you have several objects under there. So you see that cresting. Uh, that's where the wave train can come in, where you have several underwater hazards. And then the pillow, kind of like the rounded, it uh, just flows over the top, kind of raised up, and you can uh, see that whatever's object is there. You have completed module one of this course, but before you take the quiz, there's a YouTube video listed in the training section showing several of the hydrology elements we've discussed. At the 15 second mark, you'll see cresting over a submerged object and our rescuer fails to avoid it, but he does make sure the rest of his team are aware it's there. At the 31 second mark, you'll see a well-defined downstream V. And at the 44 second mark on river left, you'll see an eddy fence and a small eddy. At the 46 second mark, and you may have to back up to really catch this, but you'll see two fixed objects, river left, river right, and what seems to be a horizontal run across. And when you get up to it, uh, it's very evident it drops off a little bit into a small hydraulic, nothing to uh, significance to pull a rescuer back into, but you can recognize it uh, as you're going over. And then jump ahead to the two minute, 10 second mark and see how the various rescuers swim across an eddy fence into an eddy. Some do it a little better than others. So once you've completed the video, go take quiz one and then move on to module two.